Okay, so I'm Kamran from Paul Lehman. In the next, in this video, we are checking some basic kind of things, not basic, some other things uh, that can help improve the site performance in Google search and other engines as well. And hopefully can get them some conversions and money as well. So uh, the first thing I'm doing is I'm clicking, uh, I'm checking the page speed. And I'm checking on the uh, tool, official tool by Google that goes by the name Page Speed and Sites. And the URL of this is pagespeed.web.dev. I will even put the links, all the links that we have discussed in the uh, description as well, description in each video. So, yeah, so I have copied the URL that I'm auditing. I'm just clicking, pasting it here sacredaccounting.com and I'm clicking on analyze let's see if we have got something to recommend them here as well or not so it will show us the page speed and sites for mobile as well as desktop I'm sure you guys know the core web vitals are page experience update is being rolled out for both mobile and desktop as well so it's it matters for both of them mobile and desktop as well so you see core web vitals assessment has been passed i i hope you guys know about core web vital assessment if you don't you can just do a simple google search uh for this and uh you will get to know that it's uh, a combination of some metrics about the page speed performance so you can see there is a uh, an opportunity of improvement in first contentful paint uh, all of the others like first input delay large just content full paint and cumulatively out shift each and everything seems okay for mobile and the core web vital assessment matrix is for all past which is a good thing so uh, 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 let's see this so the first kind of information that page speed insight shows is from the real user data for this URL like uh, so for now we are just checking it for the home page you can just even check it for the top five pages as well and see what is being missed there and if the results are passed for each and every page or not so um, yeah the first uh, kind of data is from field data real user data collected by chrome and the next data is the laboratory data so and um, in both of the data we can see we are clearly uh, passing every kind of metric which is a good thing but still maybe they can reduce the initial server response time maybe they can do some basic kind of changes in their themes or maybe their hosting company is not that much great so themes plugins and server specification all contribute to server response time uh, google is for google official findings consider finding a more optimized theme carefully selecting an optimization plugin and or upgrading your server so it more it is most probably because of the hosting company maybe they have that much of uh, unoptimized servers or not but we are still okay so we have some some unused css as well and i guess it's okay to just ignore it because uh, overall they are passing it so if we even try to try to uh, find these metrics for some of the other pages of this website we can see if I'm in the website home page and I go to the product reviews. Let's uh, see on board spare sports pack backpacks. And yeah, so let's just see this one has some images and links, Amazon links. So let's try to find the page speed data for this one as well. So click control C and I'm in here and control V. I will just paste it right here. You can uh, repeat the same progress for some of the top 10 pages. If the website is just a low number of pages, you can just uh, do it for all of them. But yeah, there is another interesting matrix. So you can see core vital assessment passed and the results are great for both mobile and desktop so we are good to go there is nothing to recommend write it here and the next thing we can see is we can check the google search console for this data as well let me show it to you 
so i'm in google search console if i scroll down to the experience here we are here and click on page experience you will see uh, that 100 percent url with a good page experience on mobile 100 percent good URLs on desktop as well so the site is performing great uh, like core web vitals are good mobile usability is good HTTPS is good like all the URLs of the site are using HTTPS There is no mixed content issues all those things for desktop and for mobile as well like this data is for mobile and This data is for desktop so you can see if there was something in red here or poor warnings here maybe we if it was the case we should have recommended those to the site owner right away is i'm the site owner myself so i have mac i have made it sure that everything is all right here yeah that's one thing that i did right okay so page speed experience wise mobile usability wise and https wise we are doing great let me show you in another matrix that is mobile readiness so let's check that matrix as well so this is another tool from google uh, that shows um, mobile it is, it is a kind of mobile friendly test for the website i will just copy and paste the url that that was one of the url from the website and i'm just clicking on test url and mobile it is probably mobile friendly that's why my experience and all those things were 100 percent right so yeah but this is just another check that you need to do for the sites you are auditing and if the mobile if the site is not mobile friendly like if it is not friendly it will it will not pass this test so you can just recommend this to the site owner to just have like you see pages mobile friendly it if it wasn't the case you, should, you just need to tell the site owner and tell them in the optimization a recommendation sheet that we are using like this one we are having a recommendation sheet as you all know we developed all these recommendation uh, i did it live in front of you i even wrote these recommendation in front of you so it was everything in front of you if it was the if it was the case we would have recommended it here 